Um, I struggled with alcoholism in my own life uh, in the 2000s, and uh, I want to support the efforts of uh, Scott and the folks here that do a wonderful job in, in training substance abuse counselors and running a uh, program on the ranch which rehabilitates people and gives them a chance for hope. Um, I hit bottom back in March of 2010. I'm in my fifth year of sobriety. So there are people out there who are struggling. They have addictive problems. They're feeling hopeless, confused, um, and so it took me a little while, but I'm back deeply involved in life now, and if I can do it, they can too. You had a pretty high-profile career, and still do, and uh, also a high-pressure career, because there were millions of dollars going back and forth all over the place. Uh, does that kind of pressure lead to someone saying, I need a little crutch here? It wasn't really that for me. I mean, I started in 1975. I had the first pick in the first round as a client, Steve Bartkowski, and did 60 first-round draft picks in the NFL. And the very first pick in the first round, uh, eight years, we had a big uh, baseball practice with 60 players and did sports-themed movies and helped save teams. And, uh, and, and it was all based on role modeling, the athlete retracing his roots and going back to the high school collegiate professional community and, and wrote books, and, and that was all deeply fulfilling. There were situations in my private life which started with uh, the loss of my father to cancer, uh, two children being diagnosed with uh, incurable eye disease, losing a home to mold, and then a second one to mold, um, and then getting divorced, and I felt powerless. And as if, like Gulliver on the beach, weighed down with Lilliputian sticking forks in me. So it was those personal things and an inability to, to protect the people I loved. Now, alcohol was exactly the wrong way to deal with that. Um, but I think you almost have to hit bottom and lose uh, everything to, to be able to uh, take the steps necessary to, to work your way back. And, and nothing else really worked for me except uh, working a 12-step program with a uh, unique fellowship. So if, if somebody came to you, uh, Mr. Steinberg, and, and said, you know, tell me how you got through it. You mentioned the 12-step program. What kind of advice would you give somebody? To admit they're powerless over whatever substance it is that's put them in that situation, and to reach out their hand and seek help, and then to work a 12-step program, and as part of that to, to, uh, to get a home group and, and, and work those steps in order and, and get a sponsor and um, really try to find a higher power, some spiritual connection that will uh, aid in, in finding a way back, and that there is hope at the end of the tunnel. Um, so I uh, just went on a book tour where where I wrote a best-selling book, and, and I've got a radio show, and and am, am writing, and we're in the process of recruiting athletes, and and most importantly, I have my three kids back. So I just made a decision when I was at the, at the bottom, that I'd put my practice aside, give it to younger people, and if nothing else, I'd, I'd be a good father and I'd be sober. And everything else is just a blessing.